Hi, I'm Sherry. This is my daughter Nicole, and this is Gardening in the North. So normally you don't see my daughter Nicole. She's usually behind the camera or inside designing t-shirts, but she decided she'd come out and help me today because we're gonna harvest sunflowers. Today we're going to show you how we're going to cut down one of our mammoth sunflowers that's ready to be harvested. And you can tell that it's ready to be harvested because the actual flower will start to droop right down so that it's no longer visible the bottom part of it. This one here we cut down about three weeks ago and we've been drying it in the garage. Now it's a lot smaller than the one that we're going to harvest today. I'm not sure if it just didn't get enough sun in the area that it was in, but it didn't grow to the full maturity size that it should have grown to, but it was ready. So one of the ways that you can tell that a sunflower is ready to be harvested is a lot of the leaves that are around it start to fall off. And again, it's drooping down and it's basically telling you that it's done. So we are going to show you how we're going to remove the seeds and then some of the things that we're gonna do with the seeds. Yep. Oh God. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh God, these are not good. <laughs> you what Nicole's talking about. Okay, so Nicole, do you want to rub them off? So this is the actual part of the flower and you just remove all of this before drying it. And so one of the things that we'll do with this one is we will hang this one in the garage as well for a couple weeks. It may need to be hung longer than the other one because it's so much bigger. So if I grab this one just to show you the difference in it, it's crazy. And again, if you were to look up at where we just took that one from, the one next to it, it's the same flower, the mammoth Russian sunflower and the one beside it didn't grow to be as big as this one. I'm turning it over. These ones aren't it's coming off. Good. So we'll just get them off as much as we can and the ones that we can't get off we'll just leave and when we come back in a couple weeks to it, we should be able to get them off. So if you look really close, all these white things that you see, those are the actual sunflower seeds. And look here, do you see this worm? Those worms are going to be in and amongst the sunflowers, the sunflower seeds. As you dry them out, you're going to notice that you're going to see some more of them. And that's okay, that's normal. You're just going to pull them aside and make sure that any of the sunflowers that you are saving don't have the holes in them that they haven't burrowed into them. So what are we going to do with all these sunflower seeds? If you look, this one here probably has a couple hundred, if not close to a thousand. Look at this one. Like, you're probably wondering, what are we going to do with all of these sunflower seeds? And so some of the things that we're going to do is we're going to save them use them next year, plant more. I actually want to plant a whole row of sunflowers along our property line. We're going to share some with family and friends as well. 
and we have a couple friends that have chickens so we'll share some with them as well um, but a really cool thing that we're going to do with these is we're going to roast them so we're going to pull them all out and make sure that all those little tiny worms that i showed you are not in them and then we're going to place them into a big bowl with i'm going to say just enough water to um, coat them and then we're going to add in a bit a cup of salt we're going to mix it all in Make sure you put something kind of heavy in the bowl to keep all the sunflower seeds under the water and leave it for about a day, 24 hours. And we're going to pull them out, we're going to dry them, and then we're going to roast them in the oven at about 400. And just like buying them in the store. All right. So look at that. Looks just like the seeds you would buy in the store. And once you place them into the water and the salt, it's gonna give them that salty taste that you get when you buy them in the store. And look how easy they come out. Now I can tell when I'm touching it that it feels, there's still a bit of moisture in there. And it was probably hanging in the garage for a good three weeks. We probably could have left it for another week or so. Oh, there's a worm. So look in here. Can you see the worms? So we'll go through this. We'll pull out all of the all of this the little worms and we'll keep all of the good sunflower seeds. So we're gonna continue going through all the sunflower seeds, pulling out the ones that we think are really good. We're gonna let them dry a little bit longer in this container before we package them away in envelopes so that we have them for next year. One of the things that I do wanna point out is that in addition to saving seeds for next year, sharing them with family and friends and roasting them, we are going to leave some of the sunflower heads on the plants so that the birds can come down and have a snack. So we just wanna thank you for sharing your time with us and we'll see you next time.